It's your favorite morning person. It's your favorite morning person. Mm. I'm fishing up these McDonald's pancakes. Pancake. Good. Yeah. Good shit. It's Friday, bitches. I don't know if that means anything. It doesn't mean anything to me because I don't have the money to fly schedule, but I know some of you mean something. Hello. My super chats are open if you so choose, once you so choose. So I'll put that in there. Jacarius, hello. How have I been? I've been all over the place. Let me tell you that. Emotionally everywhere, but I am hanging in there. I am eating McDonald's pancakes. Mm, almost done. Susan, good morning. I'm our, I am hungry. I woke up hungry. I don't know what. I don't know why. I usually don't eat that. I usually don't eat breakfast that much. But I'm this morning. I was like, I'm hungry. Hungry. So let everybody know what's going on. I usually don't eat on camera, but I'm finishing up. I'm just finishing up. I said, let me come on now while it's early. <laughs> it's Dave with the Universal Studios. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Jacaris, that's really funny. That is hilarious. Okay. Mm. Now I'm done. I'll be eating in front of you. I don't know where they are. Mmm. Yummy. And that breakfast, that McDonald's breakfast, is paid by folks who sent me buy me at coffee.com. I still have this left. It was a big breakfast. So thank you. Buy me at coffee.com, James I Jr. I got coffee too. Thank you for your, your donations. I should pay for my breakfast this morning. So thank you. I was just what I needed. It. It's too hot to cook in my house. So first, kids, my hair is wild today. It's just out. I ain't done nothing with it yet. First, kids, so if you haven't heard already, someday there'll be no shows because we got two notices yesterday. Two notices. This Sunday, I will have no power from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. That's a long time, folks. I am praying everything in my refrigerator and freezer stays decent. So I know the trick is not to go in there at all. So I told my brother, we can't go in there. We got we to leave it closed the whole day. So I'll have no power. So I can't do, I won't do that, nothing. So I'm gonna spend time with my. It, actually, it's the anniversary of my brother's death, so I'm gonna spend time with my my mother and lots of death. So obviously, that was meant to be. But then the next day, our power comes back on. But then the next day, Monday, I'm gonna have no water from eight to five. <sighs> it's the whole neighborhood, not just me, but the whole neighborhood. That's crazy. I'm like, okay, I know I was only that crazy. Beauty for Ashes, Janaea, Rodelli. Rodelli, remind me again. How, I, you've been around, you've been around for a long time. You're, I know your name. What show did you find me from? At After Buzz, you were around a long time. I can't remember what show it is. So yeah, so no shows, and, and this is the week I want to talk. This is the week I actually want to talk. We have lots to talk about. So that's why we're doing a bunch of these daytime today, some JLJ this morning, so we can talk out some stuff. And one of the things that we can talk about this morning, kids. Ken Corday has spoken, bitches. He has spoken. He has said what he needs to say about Days of Our Lives in this week's Sub Bummer Digest. And that's the news today. That's right, kids. He has spoken. People are still, people are even more pissed, I guess. I smell Francois. People are pissed. He was like, take that, bitches. Well, he didn't say that. But what he did say is here, let me, let me quote you what he said. This is one thing, one of the things he said. What do you say to people who are saying days will be canceled? Corday says this, and I quote, yeah, it's funny how some bottom feeders grabbed the news and said days will be canceled next. It never ceases to amaze me, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. And this, let's say, the worst things we can say about it. This is not the end of an era, it's the beginning of another. That's what he said. And, and, Oh my God, Nikisha, the toe. We're going to get there, girl. We're going to get to the toe. Like, totally. (laughs) 
He also said, hi, Kirsten. Hi, Daisy. So here's what he said. Also, I'm going to get Bill and Susan Hayes to talk to the old geezers. He didn't say that part. But to the old, the old folks on how to watch days now. That's smart, kids. That's smart. Get the old folks talk to the old folks. That's that's perfect. That's that's like marketing 101. You first saw me GH after Buzz Maybe Donnell Turner. Oh yeah. Woo. I'm gonna try to get more. I, I I just reunited. Take two, James. My coffee's kicking in, I guess. So Rodelli, I just I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna try to talk just to Rodelli right now. Rodelli. So Curtis and I reunited at the at the Emmys. We haven't seen each other in like three or four years. We were at the Emmys this year. It's on my Patreon, a whole reuniting. He gave me his information. I'm going to try to get him on the show again. He hasn't been on in a long time. Hey, back to the rest of you guys again. Just kidding. That message is for all of you. For all of you who watch. I didn't get them asleep, but I'm, I'm awake for some reason. I don't know what's going on. This coffee is good. What's my coffee cup is I'm a grandpa. Yeah, Quinko Day, he's not, he's not scared. So I know Ken personally. So no, he don't give a fuck. He, he's not scared. He's like, screw all y'all. But he said, this is what else he said. And I quote, it, this is from Summer Digest. It's 2022 and the future is here. There are three certain things in life. I said, I'll throw them to you. Three. I can't do math. The most precious thing about life is time. So this is happening quickly. We have to make the most of it. The most constant thing in life is change. We have to accept it and roll with it. And the most important thing in life is happiness. We have to make NBC happy and the viewers happy. So also said, for starters, it's the same show, but more content after February. They won't have the limits of 38 minutes or 22 minutes commercial time. And you get no commercials. And he said the broadcast quality will be better because it's streaming. Very true. So he he has spoken, and I, you know, and there you have it, kids. There you have it. I just thought I'll turn it any any anytime. I was like, hashtag John L. Who's my favorite spice girl? Um, who's my favorite spice girl? Uh, which was, well, my, well, my favorite is always Jewish Ginger. That was my favorite. But I've met Scary, uh, Mel B, and I love Mel B. I've met her. She's super sweet. Um, but Ginger is always my favorite because she's the redhead, of course. So, but Sporty has the best voice. Fight me on that one. A pumpkin latte. I'm not a pumpkin person. So I like pumpkin pie. That's it. Tea is good though. Tea is really good for you. Tea is, I love tea also. He's good. Um, but yes, um, I, I've seen a Spice Girls in concert. That's why I got this shirt when they, re when they came back together. Uh, it's the same man. Did I care what we thought? Well, you know, here's the thing. He running his show the way he wants to run his show. He doesn't care what you think. He's running, he's running his show the way he wants to run the show. But they came back, obviously, and, you know, things happen. He's not, he's not perfect, not, not by any means. He's not perfect, not, he's not perfect by any means at all. Um, you sent me an article about the Netflix soap, about Netflix soap. I don't think I did. Daisy Flower, I meant to resend it to me again. I don't think I did. I get 10 million things sometimes. I can't get scared, so I apologize for that. Pa I like, Posh is cute. She's good. But Mel B is like, I, Mel B is it's beautiful. Hi, Medora Bohannon. You know I love you. Know I love your name. Every time you come on, I always say I love your name. It looks like good. But Ginger is my girl because she was the vixen, of course. And Ginger and Mel Beaver was were fighting all the time. Mm -hmm. I read Ginger's book. I have her book. I have the whole thing. I don't know thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming via Twitter. I'm like I don't send it to me. Send it to me again. I'm sorry, I, I, you might know, do 10,000 things. Sorry, Daisy Flowers. Send it to me again. Because like, I don't, it doesn't sound familiar. Well, Baby Spice, we had to be in the platform sneakers. That's so funny. They're, like, they're, they're, all, they're all good. I mean, they're all good. I mean, they're all, they're all good. They're all everything. But I just, but Mel C, I like a lot of her solo stuff. I'm a big fan of her solo stuff. She's really good. And so, yes. Days. So, Days Are Our Lives is going to, 
going to Peacock and staying in LA. I mean, they're going to film in LA. Everything's going to be still the same. Um, but there's also, they already have six months worth of stuff already filmed. So that's done. As I said, in February, that's when new stuff will, will air. Excuse me. Maybe I just I was just I was just listening to um, Eyes Only. I was just listening to a Baby Spice song, her solo stuff. Just a couple of really cute solo. Just look up a song called Maybe by Emma Button. If you, if you don't know it already, I love that. So I love that video. I love that song. Here's one of her best solo songs ever. They all had solo careers in Europe. They were really big, and I, I like the solo stuff. Uh, but yes, I I was a huge at the time when it, when they first came out. I was a Ginger fan the most, and then Scary, and of course, you know, uh, Wanna Be. They're the lead singers. I Wanna Be in the video, and I and I dare you. There's no other song that sounds like Wanna Be in the '90s. That song sounds very original. I don't care about the Spice Girls. Um, we use the word soap opera in the article. All right, right, Daisy? We were, we were, I think we're on here the other day talking about they usually don't say soap opera and stuff. It's always like continuing drama or storyline arcs. They usually don't say for anything prime time or streaming soap opera. Oh, very good. Okay, I, I, thank you, Daisy. I have to look at that. I'm sorry. I, do, I, I, do, I, do have, I have so many things coming at me all the time. They're always coming at me. All the time. Now, let's get to, let's get to, the, um, let's get to the toe. I, Sean Kanan is the bomb. Sean Kanan is, he's my buddy. And he's the bomb. And he, when he realized, he thought he was just getting some nookie. He was just like, I'm gonna give me some, give me some, you know, some, you know, some woman. I've been available. He's like, daddy hasn't had any in a while. He all excited. Redhead. He's all, yes, yes, yes. And then when she, when he saw that toe, he's like, what happens to your toe? And she's like, not saying nothing. She pulled off that mask. God, he's, he's such a good actor. He's so good. For an outrageous storyline, he sells it. He sells it. And she's all, mama's back. I was like, ah! And they showed, the, they showed her missing digit. I was like, okay, folks. Bold has no, has no shame. They have no shame. Oh, my God. I was laughing so good. He is. He's big, oh, my God. He's so, he's so good. But comedy, he's he just he knows how to. He's hilarious. You're talking to that guy. He's like, yeah, daddy hasn't had any while. I was busting up. Oh, I love Sean. That's my buddy. We're actually working on something together coming up, so stay tuned uh, for that. Actually, Sean's always Sean is always good to me. I will say he's always good to me, always good to me in real life and my career. So I will always give Sean credit. Thank you, Kirsten. I saw I have a new song out today. Me and Cesar Espino, it's called I Am Back on Track Again. It's a great dance song. Everywhere you get music, it's out there. I wrote it and produced it. It's really fun. They were, there was, oh my God. Yeah, you, now you know, I talked, when we talked to Casey, some of that stuff is improvised. He said, he admitted that he goes between Sean and Kimberly, it's, in, it's improvised. They're, and Sean and Kimberly have been friends for years. And they, they say it's in, some of the stuff's improvised. So I, yeah, I can only imagine. I've worked with Sean clearly. On Studio City, I've worked with him. I know how funny he is, and we had some great laughs in between scenes. He is, he is, he actually is naturally. We have the same similar sense of humor. But I might like that's just that's uh, he slept with Sheila. He has slept with Sheila. Luckily, she can't get pregnant or nothing. She's a little long on the teeth. Like Kimberly Brown and Shot, they're all good. They're all good. So that was that, that was kind of. So I'll take that. Over, folks, did you guys watch your hospital yesterday? If you watched your hospital yesterday, I want you to explain to me, what did I watch? Yesterday's episode, I was like, what am I watching? The whole episode was like, it was like weird to me. The whole episode was weird. Um, I did, I did enjoy the kind of mention of Eddie Main a little bit. Good for Wally Kurt. That's kind of nice. But the rest of it, I was just like, what am I, what, uh, what am I watching? Right, um, Sarah? I'm like, Susan, right? I'm just like, that was an hour I can't get back. You know, she's a perfect thinking baby. That would be hilarious, actually. Um, which I think she's a little too old. I don't think she can at this point. I'm fat. I think that's why I, you know, I'm saying that with my tongue on my cheek, right? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that, you know, my man's only kicked in. <laughs> 
My belt totally kicked in faster. That's right, DC. It, it, I, I, I'm stuttering. I'm literally stuttering, you guys. I'm just like, I don't know what I watched. I don't know what's going on. And I just like, I just don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. I was like. I'm sorry, one second. You know, I do 10 things at once. Okay. Uh, I was like, I don't understand. I was the same person. Was, <laughs> I'm being, what do you call those things? Uh, I was going to say Amber Alert, but she's too grown for an Amber Alert. I just, I, I, Rodelli, I, I guess they're cute. I don't know. I just, I'm just sitting there going. And the Lucy Anna scene just felt weird too. Like they were, they were trying to throw them together because they haven't been on a show for a long time. But I, I just, that, that all was weird. I, I just, I just sat there and was just like, and I'm sorry, this Cody thing is bugging the F's out of me. They're, I mean, they're just like, Cody's cute and blah, blah. And I, yeah, I'm like, oh my God, I don't, I don't even know. Oh my God. I'm just like, <sighs> and you're right. And this Chase character, what are they doing with it? Now, first of all, Chase is fine as fuck. I can watch him just like stand in a room all day long. But we know he's a talented actor and we know we should do more with him. I don't get, I mean, if I wanted to watch if I wanted to watch a little girl in a floaty trolling around in a pool all day, I'm going to watch my grandkids in Sacramento. I'm just like, this is quite possibly the weirdest, dumbest episode I've seen in a long time. I'm just like, it's like, you know, kind of, I suppose I had a baby three years ago, but I think, I think she was older than Carly and, and Reva, I think at their ages, I think. No, I know because they did remember um on Will and Grace when they had the reboot, they made her they made fun of her made Grace's pregnancy when she was having a pregnancy. I I yeah, I'm like, yeah, that thing. I hope I hope they don't do no pregnancy. I that just be dumb. I didn't be dumb, but I just I'm just saying I think they're you know this this chemo beauty. Well, hike is chemo beauty. You're all violent. I was watching Jesus. The three men and a baby. That's totally what it was. Oh my God. It was. You win this morning, this chemo beauty. You win. You win this morning for best comments. Oh my God. I love it. Yeah, I'm on a rant, you guys. I can't rant this weekend. Me and Frank can't rant this weekend. Um, so um, I can't, I can't, no, I'll have no power. I'll have no power. See, it's the man. The man is trying to keep me down. It's so fans. They're tired of me talking shit all week. They're like, you know what, James? We're gonna make sure you have no power on on Sunday all day long. Your whole neighborhood. So they cut me off. That's it, so fans. You can't cut me off forever. I went to a show on Saturday, but I'm going to a concert. I can't do a show. I'm at a concert all day long, so I can't do a show. Um. And she had she had a child with Jeffrey. I was, I was kind of curious. How old she was at the time. We could we could be thinking she's older than we thought she is. Who knows? But she was close to sixty. I don't think I don't think I really think it's good. Let's way to. But either, but either way. So yeah, so um, they are. We have a, we have a metro being built by my house, and um, and so I guess the fact they have some stuff they have to do. Well, you know, in L.A. They asked us to turn off our power for, for 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 five hours the other night, saying that we were using too much power. And then in September, they're asking all of us in Southern California to not use our water outside for a, for fifteen days. I'm like, what is going on, in Los Angeles? It is crazy. It's, it's, we're 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 fucked. <sighs> Thank you, Trina, Spencer. Have real angst. Yes. He's going to prison and be like, he's a producer. It should go over record producer. I know. Yeah, I know. <sighs> I, I, I feel like when I watch, when I watch General Hospital sometimes, it sometimes feels like we have, all these actors have guarantees. So we have to be, I mean, non-compliant. You, 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 you would, Sarah. Um, 
but the, these guarantees. I feel like some some weird noise over here. I'm like, like they're saying we have to give make sure that Sasha gets her couple of scenes. We got to make sure that Sasha gets a couple of scenes. We got to throw Leo in and give him his couple of scenes. We got Gregory Harrison. I feel like they're just like they're just like throwing scenes. Of, I, I'm like, is there really anything good going on? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe we've saw, maybe we've saw. See, everybody's talking, Rita Sulfur, come to GH. Rita Sulfur, come to GH. Um, they don't have, there's no room for her. Where would they put her? Where would they put her? The cast is, they haven't even, we haven't given us Jeff Weber yet. They, we finally get a little flashback. Something happened. Something happened, you guys, uh, with Liz or whatever. But how long has that story been going on? Right. You get a scene, and you get a scene, and you get everybody gets a scene. Thank you, DC. That's what it is. Yes, real so far was, was the original Lois. But, it, but it's like there's there, people can say that. I'm like, but okay. So let's bring on another character and then bury her in the cast. Now, she came on for a guest appearance or two or three. I think do a Tracy sometimes. I'd be fine with that, but why well, bring her on? If they, I mean, they, they, won't, they, they barely show the quarter mains half the time. We got this. We got this little thing, but then they go, they go on for weeks. We don't, we don't see them anymore. So everybody keeps saying that. I'm like, that sounds cute, but I, Rita Silver deserves to work. She's a great actress. She deserves to work. Put her on a soap that she can actually do some work on, like she was doing on Bold Beautiful when they had her on. Leslie K. Well, like I said, like I said, <coughs> DC. If it's a guest, if it's a guest capacity, then I have no problem with that, right? She makes a guest appearance; it'd be wonderful. But I just think if people want her on for regular. I'm like, that's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. The, the soap is too. That's too many people. It has too many people. And yes, the Elizabeth storyline is weird. Also, it's like, what's going on? You know, right? She is related to Franco. But now she laid it to her parents somehow. I just, I just. All right, Diddy Flower, I see it now. I see it. Okay. Okay, I see it. And like I said, I, I guess what stuff I get, I get, I get. I just think, I just, I just, I, again, I just think, and report report Charles Moore. It's just the, the Cody thing is just so weird. And they're pushing, and well, now we know that I think Britt's leaving because she's going to Station 19 or whatever. But the whole pushing her towards British bugs is oh, it's just so pain. It's so, it's so icky to me. It, it feels like I need a shower afterwards. Like I don't understand. I'm like, no, they do not belong together. But people finding out that she's Catherine Bell's little brother and all that stuff. I like that part kind of. I do. Well, that's the point. GH is about to start cutting some people. So let's get ready. Um, I, Latasha, Latasha, I said that I've been saying from the very beginning. Carter with Katie, or Wyatt with Katie, because you guys know that um, Flo's gone. If you didn't, I tried. I was telling that to somebody, to Candace. She was like, "You guys didn't know." I'm like nobody knew. We didn't know. Everybody, I didn't know that she was gone for good. They haven't shown her so long. I, was, I didn't know she was gone. Gone. So I don't know. Oh, you guys, it's crazy. Um, I never thought of that before. Next being Brenda's son. People, it's funny. People will, well, because, because the show has so many storyline possibilities. And it's been on for a long time. It's funny that people will come up with stuff. And I'm like, I never even thought of that. So, I mean, I just that's just me, I guess. I just, I like Dex, so I'm in. I'm in. Um, so I, I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I don't know at all. Um, well, I remember Natasha, they got close with Thomas and, and Paris. They stopped. So maybe they will. Uh, just say, why not? I'm all good. Where's Aaron G. Spears? He on the show right now. 
I saw him at the Emmys. He's like, yeah, James, I am not really on at the moment. So I was like, do 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 um, Wyatt and Katie. Yeah, she liked them. Oh, yeah, you like them too. Yeah, me too. Oh, Justin can be hilarious. I, I, I'd be down for that. I have no problem with those whatsoever. But I, I mean, as we all know, Heather Tom has been busy directing episodes of other shows. That's why she's been on so much. She's get her directing her directress on. She directed episodes of the New Dynasty, some other shows. So she's been directing. What she loves to do. So I like you go, girl. She hasn't been on in a while. So that's why she hasn't been on in a while, because she's been out there doing other stuff. Always drink water. Hi, Deidre. Did I say hi, Natasha? I think somebody else came in here too. We have 50, 25 people watching, 14 likes. What's up the likes? Sylvie Ephelion. I should say hi to everybody. Okay, I did. That's everybody. Uh, but sorry. George Blackman. Yeah, I know. What happened? Let's put, out, let's put out an Amber Alert for her too. Let's put out an Amber Alert for Misha Morgan. Uh, we, don't know, we, don't know, we don't know if she's MIA. We don't know if she is either. Well, you know, here's funny. So I'm going to answer Simone's question. Do we need Nurse Amy Rory when Street and dumps him? I always say there should be good supporting characters that are around, that come around. And Amy, since they don't want to give Amy a, a major storyline, obviously, I say give her a supporting character role. That's fine. She can probably she can be reoccurring. It's called, it's called General Hospital. So. And Rory, I don't, you know, fo- here's what's so funny. People, oh, hello, Janet. Good morning. People were so into this Rory dude from just one day of work. I mean, seriously, people were just like, now folks are like, well, it's okay. And I'm like, I got in trouble for talking shit about, I'm like talking shit about him. But I, I said something that wasn't the greatest. And people were just like, oh my God. Now they're all saying it. So there you have it, kids. I guess I'm ahead of the game half the time. I guess I am just, I'm just ahead of the game. Um, all right. Well, see, it looks like now they're going to try to finally attempt the paternity of Trina. I want Taggart to stay Trina's father because I like him as her father. And I think for Portia to keep the secret for so long is just kind of dumb. And I'm just like, I can't, because it's holding me back from really fully investing in them. So, Amy is for Spinelli. I never, I never even thought of it before. Wow. Oh, Matt, Maxie went like that. That's true, Nikisha. And absolutely right. You're absolutely right. They have written, um, Cody and Dex backstories, and Rory has that. We don't know anything about Rory at all. But I was telling you, the fans were all about him. They thought he was cutie McCute. And now they're like, yeah. I think it's, I think it's so funny. I, I, guess, I think it's just so funny. I just think it's, yeah, I want, I, because I court, I, mean, I just think it's just like she's holding on to the secret. Well, this show, I mean, and you're right, Court. Re- recur, and then well, they'll they'll work it out. I mean, it's gonna be a good story, acting wise. But I'm just like, yeah, leave what you just paternity alone. This is what me and Daisy Flower agree. I'm just like, just leave it where it is, you know. And Nicholas Chavez is the bomb. We can read for Portia and Chris because you know, she's like, I hate it. Do you mean we can't root? That's what you meant. We can't root for Portia because you know, yeah. I think that's what you meant. Yeah, there you go. I was, saying, I, was saying, I think I was like, what? I'm confused. I know. That's so hard. I want to root for them. Yet we still know he ain't divorced from from um from Jordan. That's still going on. Real Andrews is barely on. That's that's, that's because of General Hospital. That's not that's not well, Real had some health issues, but he's doing fine. Uh, I'm friends with Real. Um I know Rial would love to be on there full time if they wanted him, but apparently they don't want him on full time. So that's why it's almost like everybody comes to the conclusion 
well, it won't be Tiger because it's not Hardy ever on, which I understand that conclusion. I totally get it. But I'm just like, I, but that's not the actor. What's, it's not like he doesn't want to be on. So I don't, so it's like, that's, again, a general hospital thing that needs to happen, right? That they're just there again. They're just not. I think they're trying to create a mirror of Portia choosing a safe choice of Tiger over Curtis, who was a mess when Portia knew him. Like, you know, Rory and Spencer. I, I never even thought about, I never even connected those two together, but okay, sure. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. Um, but I just know that this secret, they brought it up a couple of times. When New Jordan came on, they brought it up. And I think Tiger looked good with Jordan. Was quite, well, first of all, Jordan's hot. The girl who plays Jordan, she's just hot. And my boy, my buddy Real Andrews is hot too. He's working it out. He's my friend, but he's working it out. He's he's hanging in there. He works out every day. He's a healthy, clean eater and everything. Um, he's um, so I mean, so those two stand together. Of course, they look good together. Um, if they kept Taggart, she his dad just to come to town. So everybody wants Gia. I know that's another way. Everybody wants Gia to come back to town. But again, it's like, it's just the, the problem of people, people want Serena to come. The problem is the cast is so big. It's so big. Oh, I gotta close my door. Sorry, one second. One second, kids. Don't go nowhere. I gotta close my door. Ugh. Opinion. In my GA is the best thing in my opinion. Um, I don't know if that for me, I don't know. I can't agree to disagree with that. I don't know. I mean, I I watch all subs, they all had hot men to me, so but then I'm just a, a horny old man, so I don't I don't even know at this point. Um this reminds me of Valentine lately. I I love Nicholas Chavez. I just love his portrayal. He's really giving me some good stuff, which you know, you know what that means, you guys. He won't be he won't be on the show that long. He got an Emmy already. He might get another one. He's gonna he's gonna move out. He's gonna he's gonna leave at some point. I'm sure he is. To bigger things. He's too he's too good. He's too good of an actor. He is too good. He's too good. Oh, oh, oh go on, Nikisha. Okay, Nikisha. That's, that's that's okay. Now, to be fair, I think Homegirl, who was Gia, was Afro Latina. I think. I forgot her name, the actress. I forgot her name. I could be wrong. I knew she was Latina of some sort, but was she Afro Latina? But I'm but you go to Keisha. I'm, I'm with you on that one, girl. I'm like, you know, I'm always pro black, but that makes me that makes me laugh. She's like, okay, only with a black actress, bitches. No, no, anything else. See, Keisha, if I said that on Twitter, I could probably get in trouble. You know, folks would agree with me. I totally agree with me. I like, I like totally agree with me. Mr. Marissa Ramirez, but she was, but she was um, Afro Latina, right? I'm gonna look her up right now, because I'm like, because if she's Afro Latina, that's still black. I'm Afro Latina, that's done black. That's 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 the thing. I would say if she's just Latina, Latina. Let's see what she is. Okay, let's see. I'm curious. Oh, she married. Oh, she was married. Okay. Um, oh, I don't, oh, I don't say. Yeah, I didn't say what. I didn't say what she is. Interessante. It says she's. It says oh, she. Oh, she's of Mexican descent. It doesn't say if she has any Afro in her or not. So you could be right, girl. You could be right. Mm-hmm. I like me some Willow and TJ. I am, I am all, I'm like, I'll find, I'm finally waking up a little bit. I was like, I, I actually care about Willow if this happens. Because where's Molly? Yes, he played Carmen over there too. Well, you know, um, remember Mr. played Carmen? Yes, she's like, all right. Um, I, I don't, because I don't care about Willow. I just don't care about Willow. Well, no, right, no, I remember, I remember there was a Gia who was full black. I remember that. She had braids, right? She had braids. She, oh, she was full black. Uh, I mean, she was black presenting. I don't, I don't know what the words are, you guys. <laughs> you guys, I get in trouble for so much. I get in trouble for so much stuff. I got to I gotta try to watch my language. Okay. So um, the other, okay, let's, look, let's look up Gia's. 
Let's look up, let's look up, let's look up Gia's. Okay. I'll say Gia General Hospital. Okay. Let's see who the actors are, who the actors were. Okay. Um, Gia Campbell. Um, let's see who they, who they show who played it. Uh, let's see. I won't get in trouble, you guys. I get in trouble all the time. Um, there's a chick named Andrea Pearson. So Marissa played it first from 2000 to 2002. And then Andrea Pearson came on and played it. And I remember her. I remember her. This, yeah, I think she had, they had her with Brave. Oh, there she is, Andrea Pearson. Okay, yeah, they had her. There she is. Okay. And she, she black. She black. She black. Black. She black. She black. Yep, that's your truck. Go to car. Yes, okay. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so there, so, yeah, so, but, but I'm with, I'm with you, um, uh, Nikisha. You know that I'm with you. You know I'm with you, girl. Uh, but I'm make sure, make sure I'm saying it correctly, but. I get in trouble for saying color comments all the time. I'm like, you know, I like different colors in my black folks, you know, and I, let's make some of them dark and chocolatey. They got some of them light, lighter skin and some brown. We have, we come in all shades, people, all shades. I like to see all shades represented on my television screen. Because you all know that a lot of times they, they always go for the light or the super dark. So I'm like, no, Gia was an award. Gia was, Gia was, it was Taggart's sister. She was some, 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 some. The awards were Justice and Maya and all them. They were, they were the quarter main wards. They were that, they were that, they were those. Oh, <laughs> you said a black woman hairstyle. So I can't even say something like that, Nikisha. I get in trouble. You try to get me in trouble. I don't want to get, I don't want to get in trouble, girl. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to say, I was going to say, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. You guys make me laugh this morning. Thank you. I need, I need a good laugh. It's, it's a hard week for me personally. So you guys are making me laugh. Thank you very much because I need the laughs. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to be careful what I say because you can say in the chat, girl, I'll get in trouble if I say some of the stuff that I say. And I get in trouble all the time. All the time. You will yell at me all the time. Who's texting me? They don't do a show. Oh, it's Tammy Govea. Okay. Just the messenger. One day when they always cause me with CK. I know Davetta Sherwood, which is so funny. I was upset about that too. I know, I know you do, Nikki. So you know I do. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I, I, you know, I, I'm saying, I agree with you. I gotta be careful. I, I get in trouble with everything I say. I, I open my mouth, I get in trouble. Uh, a lot of folks like what I say. I mean, they agree with me. I know, I know they do. I know a lot of folks agree with me. No, Devetta was good. So, but here's the here's the problem. Hello, Sheree. Here's the problem, folks. I mention, I mention color casting all the time, and I get in trouble for it. I don't care. I still, I still stand up to it. I still say it. When you have a black character, I feel like you don't take, or even a Latino character, you don't switch up them so much. You, you, you shouldn't say you should go after somebody who looks exactly the same. But when you, when you go from light skinned girl to dark skinned, to me, that is wrong to me. I'm sorry, to me, it just, it just matters. Some people say it doesn't matter. For me, it matters. And that's just that's a personal preference. I thought she did a great job as Lily. I thought she did a great job as Lily. I had no problem with her. But I'm just saying that it just kind of gives up the, it's because I know Hollywood and I knew Hollywood back then that a lot of times black folks are interchangeable to them. They just see, they don't, they just, they don't, they don't see color, so to speak, within color, but that's kind of the problem. It's like, so I always feel like if a character is introduced lighter skinned, um, then they should be lighter, should play, continue to play by lighter skinned people. If it's introduced as darker skinned, I feel like it should just be interchangeable because a lot of times when the white casting happens, they usually try to get somebody who looks similar, use the same hair color, like kind of stuff. So I just think it's so weird to me. Well, we know that. We know that one. 
We know Agent Blair to catch the five, but that one makes me laugh all the time. I love that they played with that. That is hilarious. It's colorism. It is the cute. That's what I'm saying. I I don't I don't like it. Um, you know, Darius Darius Carey, who's a great actor, should have played Malcolm. Shamar Moore is a mixed race black man, and Darius Carey not mixed race. It's like hello, hello. It's just like it's so it's just so it's so it's so weird. Like it's, so, it's completely jarring. Not saying he can't do the job. But I just feel like he could do better than that. And I feel like also, as I am here, there are enough black men out there who want a job, who can do the job, or black women who can do the job of all colors. That's that's the problem. Okay, if they if they recast Sean and maybe his life skin, I can see that. So I can totally see that. See that. So I think it matters. Thank you, Beauty Fast. I think it matters. I do. I think it matters. I think it does. Um, and in some cases, it's part of the storyline. So as I was like, Taggart's lighter skin, Gia was lighter skin, or kind of kind of brown skin. So it's like the next to me, the next one should be around that coloring. And, and exactly, Jairus, Zenday was from Africa and had dark skin. Then they got tech, they got um Rome Flynn, who is hot, folks. Rome Flynn is hot. And he and he was at least brown skinned. Then they got Delon Demetz, who's also hot. And he got lighter and lighter. I was like, next the next person playing on being some white person. I just do. Yeah, Darius from Family Matters, yes. But Shamar is Malcolm. And the only thing about Shamar Moore, he doesn't diss the soaps. Shamar Moore still loves the soaps. You go, Shamar. Exactly. Hello, well, Stephen M. She doesn't look anything. I know. She does, does, Trina does look nothing like her parents. And not, yeah, not even Curtis either. But I, I, I think she's beautiful. I just I think she's beautiful. I thought she was a luminous this whole week. The way she is, but her way her braids were, the alpha she had on, the color of the, of the dress. Oh, she was beautiful. Like, it's just, it makes her big person more. She said, Curtis, on the actions, like, Shamar Moore is a, a sex symbol. He's a long time sex symbol. I mean, I mean, he's he's a one pretty man. He is. He is one pretty man. You, you can say that. Or the two on vibs. Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a rough one too. Because how do you go from somebody super dark to somebody super light? I I tell you, I just I just I know that it's ingrained in Hollywood. It's just it's. You know, say it's not a thought. We get the best person. That's kind of the point. It's not a thought. That's part of the problem. That it's not a thought. So you're absolutely right. And not seeing color is not a, always a great thing. It's not. It's not. Not seeing color is not this greatest thing on earth. So it's like it's it's not it's not it's like oh that's great you don't see color oh my god you know I'm like no that's not great. Let me let me tie this together, you guys, with the Spice Girls. We had talked about the Spice Girls earlier. Someone asked me once, because of color, did I feel bad there was only one black Spice Girl? <laughs> and to, to really to really tell you the truth, I never thought about it. Um, because Jerry Spice is uh half Latina. So she's half Latina, the other ones are white, whatever. And I'm like, I said I never even I never even thought about it. Because of the Spice Girls, I don't know. I never, I just never, I just never thought about the color part. The songs were very pop, and just very and to, to oops, really, oops. To really tell you, but just really pop. I don't know. Um, so I never really thought about them before. But someone asked me once, goes, "Well, you're talking, talking about race all the time. Do you think there was it was it was the, yeah it was racist?" I said, "Well, the girls formed themselves. They met an audition. They were not picked, and they actually got together." And became a group. So Mel B was part of that group, and group being and friendship. She happened to be, and she's actually biracial herself. But that was kind of like it was kind of funny that someone actually asked me that. I go, I never, really, I for some reason I never thought about that in that. Um, I, it's, it is what it is, uh, and and clearly she's one of the alpha leaders of the group. So she was scary spice. 
Um, and people asked about that too. Scary Spice. I never, I never looked at that too deep. It wasn't that too deep. Now she wasn't names, as you guys may know, may or may not know this. They didn't, they didn't give some <laughs> fan mail one. That's hilarious. Right, DC? I never, I really never, I never, you know me, I, I look at race stuff all the time, but I never looked at, I never looked at that for them. Never. And Mel B held her own. I She did. I, she was a leader of the, she was one of the leaders of the group. So I was like, I never thought of the fact that Mel B was the only black person in the group. I just never, I just never, ever even, that was never a thought in my brain. So that's what is, is you know, that, that's, that's isn't that hilarious? You're old spice. I'm old, I'm old spice these days, fair male. I'm old spice. Um, but you know, it's 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 it's, cra it's crazy. Um, so actually Shamar Moore was the original Malcolm, and then Darius came on. I don't I don't how do you guys think why do you think it's you think it's you think it's the other way around? Let me just look it up, just make sure because I want to make sure I say it correctly. So that's uh Malcolm. It's all Malcolm X. Uh, Malcolm, YR. I believe it was Shamar Moore because I, mean, I, I, I think I remember his first scene when he came on because he was like that was his little brother. And the restless. Okay, so yes. Okay. So okay. So uh, yeah, it was originally done, it was originally by Shamar Moore, and then Darius McCary took over. And then Shamar came back for a minute, and that's how it ended with that. Yeah, so it was, it was Shamar first. Uh, but I, remember, I think I remember his first scene. I remember him coming in and Neil was like, and it was such a good scene between Neil, the young business black man, and Shamar with the braid, the, the, the corn rolls, and kind of like, it was so good. Um, so I, I think, you know, it was kind of great. Uh, I was teenager, oh, Simone, this is great, Simone. I was a teenager, so I just thought there was not a lot of black people in England. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. There's a lot of black folks in England, yes. But they have one black girl called Scary Kitty. So, so for Majora, it came to mind. Okay, that's it. I, I, that's, what, that's, that's, that's honest. I, I said, oh, some folks thought that. Jeannie says she represented us all. So there's, I guess there's the two sides, right, you guys? It's like she's representing us and doing her thing, and all, but the other side, Scary Spice is black, I guess, but I, I don't know. I just, I just, I didn't, I, 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 I love, I don't think, I, I don't, I think she was, she was an equal member of the five in the end because if she was treated, if she was treated by this point, she would have told us she was treated bad. Um, if she was, then I would, I would have been, you know, would have been in there. But hello, Jeannie Roberts. Hello, fan mail. Hello, CG Dunn. I know you. Uh, and let me just add everybody comes in, Stephen M. Um, yeah, Shamar Moore does not diss the soaps. Uh, John, you said John Stamos is dissing the soaps? I, I haven't heard. I mean, does he, does he diss the soaps? He's like so nice. Oh, I know Eddie Murphy told Ooh, he totally. I don't know what happened there, but he was like, that's not my baby. And they took a maturity test. Oh, that's your baby. And then, then he looked at the kid and looks just like him. Yeah, the Spice, the, Spice, the Spice Girls got together on their own. People forget that. They think they were brought together. They came together on their own from some auditions. They formed their own group. They wrote their own songs. And that's how it started. They are actually self-made. There's a lot of it. So that's, so I want people to be clear about that. They actually, people think it's the other way around. Like, no, they actually, yeah, Mel B's still working. I met Mel B, God, like 10 years ago. Um, we, we're, we're doing a, a charity um, 5K together here in LA. And because I, I was Mel B for her for Halloween one year. <laughs> I told her and her thin husband about that. She she laughed. We talked for a while. And she was really nice. She's short, a little shorties, um, but she was very nice. So my dream was I got to meet her. I would love to meet. I love to meet Ginger Spice. That's my girl. I want to meet Jerry Hollowell. That's my girl. Um, at some point, and also Mel C. At some point, I'm not going to meet any of them, of course. But yes, well, yes. Eddie Murphy was like, "That's my child," and that child is just like him. That's your child. So, mm hmm. Oh, so he does. Okay, so I wasn't sure. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I love John Stamos. John Stamos can get it too. He's still hot. So he does speak hot. Age. Okay. Well, I know John Stamos is still friends with Ken Schreiner. They, Ken Schreiner just said that recently. They're still friends, um, and they still get along. 
Did she really back then? Did she stop singing? Right? She did. No, we did. All my children, everybody's got this something. I see so you guys. You guys remember shit that I don't remember. I mean, I was watching everything, but I can't remember everything. I, I brain dumb stuff. I can't remember everything. I I got spirit. I got scary spice hair right now. Shit. Well, remember TLC came out first, so Sarah Free's mine. <laughs> That's so funny, um, Sarah. Um, no, remember, TLC came out first. They came out in 91. They were most of the 90s. And then Spice came out in like 96, 97. But probably for you, TLC had several albums that stretched over the decades. So I guess for you, maybe it's possible. Because I think TLC had an album in, in 2000, I think, or whatever. So they could, they could be possible. They could be possible where you were into Spice Girls first, and then TLC came out with an album, and then maybe, that, maybe that was it. Because fan mail, like fan mail in the group, uh, I think that album came out in 2000, maybe, or 1989. So you may be right. I don't even remember that, you guys. Um, okay, I'm going to look, because I want to make sure, I don't want to make sure I say anything, is in a, in a, whatever. So TLC albums, let's see what they came out. I'm doing all kinds of stuff right now, let's see. So TLC had five studio albums. I don't want no scrubs. They don't, they don't, they don't get no love from me. And I ain't in the passenger side of my best friend's ride trying to holler at me. That's all I can sing because I don't have the I don't have the uh the rights to the song. Candlelight and soul forever. I dream of you and me together. Say you believe it. Say you believe it. Free your mind of doubt and danger. Be for real. Don't be a stranger. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, Fan Mail came out in 1999, and TLC 3D came out in 2002. So yes, um, Adora, that makes sense that you would do. They then you probably those are two huge, huge albums. So that makes sense. You you that you probably pushed them aside when they came out. Okay, um, let's see what's going on. Uh, John Stamos, we love him. Like heartthrob, blah blah. I don't remember. Do you see? I don't remember any of that stuff. I probably saw it. I don't remember none of that stuff. I remember those groups. I remember B five, more public on them. But I didn't. I don't even remember that stuff. Because I was talking to um, uh, Eric Brayton. He reminded me that um, BB King was on Young and the Restless. Aretha Franklin was on Young and the Restless. Like I totally like silly ho. That song. That's funny. And us. Well, Usher. I'm telling you, my one of my favorite scenes of all time. Amber's giving birth. It's like a rainstorm. It's crazy. The lights are going in and out. The lights are just everywhere. And is the baby Ricks or is the baby Raymond's? And Usher played Raymond, ironically. Um, and we all knew if that baby came out black or brown, we know who baby that is. And the baby is born and it's coming out and, and the lights crash goes, What what is it? What is it? And the lights go out. I'll never forget that episode. I'll never forget. We were like, "Wow!" We were screaming, 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 screaming. Like it was a, it was a great cliffhanger. Great cliffhanger. Um, yes, yeah, Snoop. Well, remember Snoop and um, and um, not Clint, Bo. Snoop and Bo Buchanan were friends. Isn't that hilarious? That was that whole thing. They were friends. I think I think Snoop went on there several times actually. Yes, I read that. Yes, he did. That's why Stephen M. Yep. Uh, Ricky Martin, yes, he was on GH. That was his whole, he was on GH for a couple of years. You know what I mean? It was a lot. We can, we can go to all the stars. There's a lot of stars that started on there, yes. Um, yeah, Justin and Amber, remember that? Usher and Amber, that's right. So, yeah, so I, I just, it's just kind of, that's anyway. So, I've kind of, I just, very, so, that's, well, it's funny with, it's funny about this, the, the Spice Girl stuff and you got your guys' take on that too. I can see where folks may say it's kind of weird, or but they formed themselves. It wasn't like it, they were put together. And the person said only one black person. That's the that's the misconception I'm gonna have. They actually were at auditions, they didn't make it, yeah, but the but they liked each other, and so they stuck together and formed a group. I know, Ray Juan. Ricky Martin had his own troubles going on recently. Thank God he was acquitted. Or he was I mean, he was a uh, Charges were dropped, but he had his own stuff. Uncle Snoop. So yeah, Snoop Dogg's the bomb. 
I've never met him, but he's just like the bomb. Lauren Hill's been on As the World Turns. I remember she was on there. Oh, Brittany, she was? Oh, Brittany was out there for Usher's residency. Where's Usher um, playing at? Cherie, which, uh, which, uh, which place? Yeah, Oprah, of course. Remember, Oprah was a big supporter of Storm back in the day, of course. Carol Burnett, of course, was on All My Children. She played Verna. No, a lot of stars do come on and do stuff. I'm waiting for my guest spot on Bold the Beautiful. So stay tuned. They said they're going to do it. So I, so you might be seeing James Law Jr. on Bold and the Beautiful. I don't know. what I, I might be a therapist. I might be Lindsay, the person out front of Taylor's office. I might be talking to Sean. I was usually Deacon or one of Carter's friends. I was actually Carter's brother. Come on, like, Carter, what are you doing? What are you doing? But I'm very excited and very nervous because I'm like, I've never done a soap before. Um, I've done other TV, but I've never done a soap before. And I'm just like, I'm like, I know that their pacing is just like, go, go, go. I just wonder whose dressing room will I get to share? I was like, whose dressing room should I stay, should I stay in? I say, in. oh, Root King, you missed the beginning of the show. I, I, he has, he, I was like, I read, I read Ken's um, quotes from some of our digests. He has spoken. He is done. He's like, he just do not. He's like, that's it, kids. He don't give a shit. The show's going on to, the, it's going there and that's it. Park MGM where my hubby works. Oh, over there. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I know where he, he was playing there. Yeah, Lauren Hill used to be on As the World Turns. She was also a sister act. Um, what's funny is, DC, I liked Lori Devine. I have friends who didn't like her. They didn't like her on the show. I liked her. I thought she was great. They didn't like her. And I did. So I don't, I don't know why. I'm like, I thought she was great at Beauregard. She kept saying all the time. I thought, I thought it was great. But yes, Rook, you missed the whole conversation earlier. Yes. Taylor said, I know. They said there, he, he said, maybe you should be a therapist. I was like, oh, maybe. I saw Loretta in the original Dream Girls. Her and my friend Cheryl Lee Ralph and Jennifer Holliday. I saw them originally. And it's weird. He became friends with Cheryl Lee Ralph um, four years ago. I'm like, I know Cheryl Lee Ralph. It's kind of weird. I grew up with her and I know her. I know, because me and Sean are friends in real life. So that's what they, they, they think. Thanks for nothing, DC. <laughs> I was telling I, he said he said he did I said what he did he said he did he said he went, I said what I said I was like we see each other we see each other that's right oh Albert you know me I'm always getting in trouble I can all kind of stuff uh, all the time um, but this is I, I was like I I know King Corday so I know him and he's always very he's always very nice to me when I see him and I just he's just like this is it this is it and I can try to tell people. They're trying to save the show. They say, can't be your third cousin on your mother's side. <laughs> My fourth cousin twice removed. Exactly. That's hilarious. No, Kid Corday, Kid, he's gangster. He's just like, and this is the deal. And this is what you're like. And so Rook, so I had to laugh because my thing was, he said, um, I'm giving you Bill and Susan Hayes to talk to the old folks about how to go on on uh, Peacock. I think that's hilarious to me. If the old folks talk about the old folks. Isn't that, isn't that crazy, you guys? I love it. I know, he does, he does, he does, he does. He, he, I, you know, I, I really do, and I, you know, Ken wants to keep going. I don't think Ken wants to, to, to go off the air. He wants to keep it going. The show is making him money. So, exactly, it's his family's legacy. And the show's making him money. He's, a, he's not poor. You not sitting at home poor, you know. So I mean, he's 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 doing fine. Lots of bowl. What, 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 what did I miss, folks? This is going here. Uh, CG Dunn. They are making a days a bit edgy now with Leo's jokes and jabs. Rob Wilson is ready. He's sweet. Lots of bold. Did I miss that? Shit. I'm, when, I'm, when I watched it, I didn't watch days yesterday. Okay, I was watching Big Brother instead. Okay, I gotta watch days and see and see um, Rob's bold. You know, I, 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 I gotta get my I gotta get my jollies where I get them, folks. Because over here, over here at this house, it's dry. It's dry for days. Ain't nothing going on. Nothing going on over here. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Got to have a J O B if you wanna be with me. That's all that's going on over this house. Ain't nothing going on. So I gotta stare at 
at soap operas to get my jollies. Okay, I have to look at that. Thanks, uh, girl. I'm gonna look and see if I can find it. Cause I'm like, cause Rob Wilson can get it uh, all day, every day too. He's he's like he's working it out. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I like Alex. I don't care what everybody thinks. I like him. So it's working for me. Working for me. And I don't care about you know. Yes. Well, that's that's what well, CG. That's that's the whole point, right? It's, it's it's very smart. I'm making jokes, of course, but because I've gotten in trouble for my comments about this. Because I am an old person. I'm in my 50s. I may look like I'm 25 and I'm stretching. But I'm like, he has no bulge or... <laughs> he has no bulge or butt. Oh, that, that, that's hilarious. He has cute abs, face and abs. That is hilarious. But he could have stuffed it, Ruth, to be for, for, you know, maximum exposure. You know, ball, ain't nothing going on but the rant. Got to have a J O. Oh, Al Albert. Oh, LA is the worst. Oh my God. Ask anybody out there. LA is the worst for dating. Oh, it's war. And it's horrible. Oh, it is horrible for dating. Horrible. I feel like fifties is so young. Are you in your fifties, DC? Why don't you tell me? Are you in your fifties? I'm in my fifties. I don't feel young all the time. I feel like an old ass half the time. And some days I feel decent. But my point was, I'm commenting on older people. I'm getting in trouble. I'm one of those older people. Who's in that song? Uh, Gwen Guthrie. Ain't nothing going on. But the film says that's a song for me. Got to have a J-O-B if you want to be. Come out in the 80s. Uh, she's not with us anymore. Exactly, DC. You're 20 years old. You're young. Um, but here's the thing, CG. Here's the thing. I here was here's why I got in trouble because I I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna say this to you like I said to everybody else. I think it's an insult to older people about tech work because I have a godmother. I mean godmother. I have like an aunt who's 82 years old and is very tech savvy. My mother's in her 70s. She's very tech savvy. I know folks who are older who can handle streaming services, and I feel like that's almost an insult to say. Well, all old people can't do anything. Like um we're living longer we're doing things better we're doing all kinds of stuff and all as i know young folks who can't get it together so i feel like so i think it's an insult actually told the people so i say well what are the old people what are they gonna do now i get the point of older people who've watched soaps longer so they're used to they're used to seeing it just on our tv i get that part but a lot of us have smart tvs and everything it's, it's very i think it's very easy so i i just you know so I'm just, I'm just saying, I was saying, I, I think it's almost an insult to real, but I think it's smart because Ken knows people keep bringing that up. So now, so now he's like, let me, let me show you the older folks to usher you in. I think it's very smart. And that's, as, and Lawler DC, that's also a great point. The pandemic has pushed a lot of, a lot of old people into, you know, no, I know, CJ, I'm not yelling at you, CJ. I'm just saying, CJ, I'm just telling you that that's what I got in trouble for. I said this, and, people, and I got in trouble. And I was like, because a lot of folks are saying, the old folks, the old folks, the old folks all the time. I'm like, well, not all old people are like that. I mean, I know a lot of young people don't have streaming. They don't know, they don't know what it is. Um, oh, now we're, going into, now we're going into dating. I'm not having that discussion, folks. I am not. I'm, exactly, CJ. No, okay, here's the thing. CJ just says something that is the complete truth. Nothing's free, folks. Do you think your, your, your local channels are free? You're paying for that also. You're paying for your internet. You're paying for the Wi-Fi in your home. You're, pay, you're paying for, uh, you're paying for um, stuff. You know, you need local TV. I remember Channel 2 was gone one time. Channel 2? Like, that's, that's not a regular channel. They're like, no, oh, it's part of the cable package. And the cable said no. That's what, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we pay for everything. Ain't nothing free. We pay for our phone service. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm saying, see, I'm not young. I'm just saying that people were saying this to me. They're getting mad at me when I say this stuff. Um, I know, I know you agree with me. I'm just, I'm just saying that this is what they're. I'm letting you know this is what they're saying to me. They're getting mad at me for saying I'm going, but no, I'm speaking the truth. I was like, that's the point. You're right. You, you're, you're, we're not nothing, nothing free. They nothing free. Everything, everything costs. It may be a small cost for some things, a large cost for others, but nothing is free anymore. Good morning, Tony JC. Um, let's see. That, that Lawler, you're, you're speaking the truth. 
you are speaking. The only thing free is air. Well, I know, really, really that's gonna be free. I mean, well, you get air. But okay, so I'm like, okay, so now I gotta go to the, the dating situation. So the problem with dating in Los Angeles is that <laughs> okay. Oh, hi Daphne. Hey girl, how you doing, girl? Here's the deal. In Los Angeles, it's a large space. It's so it's very spread out. And so people like me don't go to West Hollywood because it's too white. And they don't they don't they don't want us people of color there anyway. So there's no places for us to go in LA, really. It's a few, but not really anything. So a lot of us just stay at home or hang out with our families or we're all working. And that's a, that's also another problem. It's also, it's uh it's also um everybody's trying to get their hustle on here in Los Angeles. So it's a world of headshots and pitches. Everybody has a picture. And so for me, because I'm older, I get the whole sugar daddy thing. Or I know you from television. Uh, can you help me get my show on the right? I have this song I wrote. Like, so it's like, it's always that. And also a lot of people here, this, this is for gay, straight, bi, tri, whatever, it's everything in LA. A lot of folks are looking for the next thing. Like they're they're talking to you, but their one eye is over here, just seeing if something news around the corner, you know, and that, and that happened. Seriously, I was the person. My brother warned me this when I came back to LA, and I was like, "You're crazy! You know what you're talking about? What's going on?" He's telling the truth. He, he ain't never lied, as they say. He ain't never lied. And I was like, "Wow, this is really shitty." Um, and so it's 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 a case of it is there's racism in the gay community, and people didn't realize that as well as racism and regular stuff. Um, but it's it's just, it's 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 tough because we are a huge CC thing. The amount of people, there's a lot of people here, yes. Um, but dating was way more easier in San Francisco. Dating was way more easier in Pittsburgh. Dating was way more easier in other places that are much more dense and everything. And that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's also, you have to sell yourself a lot of times to people. Um, a lot of people are just, they just, they put this is how they, this is how they are in life anyway. Like it's hard to make friends in LA a lot of times. People, even though people in LA are actually really nice, like no one really cares about your business. Everybody's just like doing their own thing. People are pleasant and nice, um, but it's like, but it's just that it's that people don't commit so much. They don't fully commit to friendships, to relationships, to parties. And everything. It's just kind of like it's right. The conversations get shorter. But there are nice people out here. There are nice folks out here, and I've met some and that kind of stuff. But it's just, it's very much, and LA's just, LA's just on the go city. Everybody's just on the go. They're just going on, everything's going on. So, yes. Okay. Um, which takes us a cut and you get more? Actually, what takes us a cut is um, that's a good question. I want to say Buy Me a Coffee does. Um, buy Me a Coffee is very, it's just very direct. It's like, it's like, I think. They only take out like 20 cents or something like that total uh, per transaction. Um, Patreon takes a little bit out, of course. And the Super Chat takes a little bit out, too. I can't remember how much they do. But uh, if you're going to choose one, uh, well, Patreon, you get all this stuff every month. That's, I mean, I get all you get. I mean, every, I put stuff out every day. So you get all this bonus content every day. No matter which tier you choose, you'll be busy for, for hours with my stuff. So that, that's a once a month thing. But if you want to just give something that's like really quick, like a tip thing, something really quick, super chat or coffee. And that's buymeacoffee.com, James Lott Jr. Uh, or this super chat. So either, so either one. Either one of those. If you don't, if you don't want a subscription service, but Patreon's great because I, I I I do all behind the scenes soap stuff, regular stuff, my life. I give it, I give it all to you. I'm giving you everything. All this joy I bring. This I so see back to the spice girls. That's up to you. So that's so that's so that's, that's that's a good question though, Lawler. So that's that's the choices. So um, uh, someone bought me coffees yesterday. I just had my I had my coffee. I had some McDonald's because of them. So you no, know, it's tough. It's tough. And yeah, and Rook, I have no problem breaking down West Hollywood, folks. West Hollywood is like, and Tony Moore. I'll tell you, Tony Moore works it. Tony Moore is the only black promoter in West Hollywood. He will tell you the difference how they treat him compared to all the other promoters. He's the only black promoter in West Hollywood. That is crazy talk, right? Crazy talk. And he has like four nights. And Tony Moore is really good at what he does. He's very, I've been to some of his nights. He's really good at what he does. He's well known. 
people know who he is, but he gets half the respect that the others get. And we know it's because of his color. And people just, and uh, all my friends who are black and brown, don't go that, don't go, don't go over there. Oh, thank you, Stephen M. Woo! Thank you for the $5. Thank you so much. That helps me stay on this, helps me stay on the air. I'm trying to stay on the air, guys. I'm trying to do this full time. But Tony, Tony, Tony works it out. Um, he doesn't really play. There's no game to play because he doesn't. He doesn't get what they get. I mean, if you really knew what Tony doesn't get there, it's crazy. He has a job there and he gets paid really well to do what he does. Um, but he doesn't. He's still. He's still at a loss compared to the others. Um, Tony, oh, do you know Tony personally? I'm like, yo, Tony's being more assertive. I'm like, do you know someone I don't know? Because I'm Tony. I'm like Tony's best friend. Talk to him every day. And I'm like, what do you know that I that I don't that I don't know? I'm like, um, uh, so I don't. I don't. I mean, Tony is a pretty assertive person that I know of. But it's it's, but that's not even it. You can only go so far when you're black and the folks in, in charge are white. <laughs> Trust me, I've been doing fifty three years. I I'm a very assertive person, and I and I've had to knock down what I can. But sometimes you hit barriers. You just you just can only go so far. Tony's been fired. He's been brought back. I mean, it's all kind of stuff because he's because he's opened his mouth. Um, but Tony's very good at what he does. But if people in charge don't see the the value in you that you that you are, that's that. There's nothing you only you only go you only go so far. You can only do so much, or you leave. It's one or the other. You just go either bump your head up to a certain point, or you just go. Bye. I'm done. And I'm pre- I I don't I don't work for people like that. So I don't, I don't, I've been there before. I just don't start Salem, yeah, Salem, yeah, chapter two. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't let people dictate my stuff. Um, I work, I try to work around it. So I'm always, I'm always trying to find my own angle. Cause I was like, screw these people. Um, I just know how hard it is. And, and it can be really, and, and in LA, you just, you just don't want, I do, I've seen, I have a small book right over here. It's a thick book too. Have you guys seen, have you seen this book, you guys? I have, I have a book. I have it. I have, I was, I was book. I, I, I just read it. I was, I just read it. I was book. Um, it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very interesting book. Very interesting book. Uh, to read. It's about his life. Very well, we can say that itself. It's the people you should be talking about opinion. I didn't know you. I didn't know you knew Tony that well, so I don't. I I disagree with you, but I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. I didn't know you. I don't know. I didn't know you knew Tony. Unless, unless you're somebody really close to him, I didn't know that. Because you, maybe you maybe you are. So I don't know. I'll tell you. I thought I know Tony's good friends. That's me, his friend Stevenson, and maybe a couple of people. But if you know him more than I do, then I'm very shocked. I've known him seven years. So I don't. I disagree with that. I don't think that's like what he. I he knows what's going on. Um, people don't talk about racism in the gay community. Because I was shocked. I thought, well, you're gay, so that's isn't there by but I just I realized over the years that oppressors that oppressed will also oppress other people. That's that's the bottom line, right? When you feel like you're not getting enough from something, then you find yourself feeling superior over somebody else and make them less than. That happens all the time, right? Um so if you are a, a gay white man, you're thinking, well, I'm not accepted in the straight white community, so that I will be the lead in the gay community. That I thought I never, I never really realized that until later. Like that's that's what it is. It's somehow almost repurposing <laughs> uh, the hierarchy because they get to because in the straight world, you're like you're like you're not you're not getting the privileges they get. That's why a lot of a lot of men will talk down to women too, especially because because there's a whole thing about it. it's like that's kind of the it's the the oppressed will oppress others, the oppressed will oppress others. That's the thing, and then of course the sexual stereotypes too. I know I don't get to this conversation this morning. I like I know it's going to be uh, JLJ this morning after dark. Um, uh, uh, I'm like, but you know I'm, I'm happy to talk about everything. Um, I got four people watching. Oh my god, you guys are four people are watching me right now. This is crazy. Um, yes, and then they then of course the next hierarchy is um the tops oppress the bottoms and the bombs oppress the and the macho oppress the femme. Um and then you know, and, and even, even in the straight world, you have the white men are on top, 
So then the black men oppress their women, and the women it just it just it just goes it just goes all the way down. But it happens in straight. I think it happens in straight and gay communities. It's both. It's just different labels. But it's all it's all this it's all the same. You know, I I don't think there's a gay community. I mean, I don't think there's an LGBT community. I don't I don't think it's a true community. I don't think it's a true black community either. I don't think it's a true Latino community. I don't think it's true, I don't think it's true anything. I think we're all so separate. I, I, think the, I think the problem is we're all trying to get ours, right? We all want our piece of the pie. Everybody, everybody in this chat room, everybody, myself, we all, we all want our place, right? Most of us just want to live our lives, however that is. And so we're busy trying to do that. So nobody, so there's nobody coming together to make that happen. It's just like, I'm gonna make it happen for me. I'm gonna make it happen for me. I'm gonna make it happen for me. Like, it's not, not like we're all saying, let's get together, let's do this together. And I'm always trying to get us to come together. But even, but look on Twitter, look on Soap Facebook, see how different we all are. It's that, you know, isn't that, isn't that crazy how different we all are? Cause I'll, I'll make a comment that's something pro-black and I've gotten attacked by black people. Um, oh, one second. Life would be so much easier if we I, exactly, Sheree. I, I, that's how, that's how, I mean, seriously. That's I, I just I just think it's such a because when I, so I I made I made a comment that what if they introduced a young black boy on General Hospital for Trina? I just I just said it's General, so I just wonder what that would be, and we have a young black story. I thought oh, just a young black story. I said, what if we had, what if we had a young black story? We have interracial stories. We have this over here, but like just a regular classic Angie and Jesse from like AMC Black Story. Because folks were so into Sprina, those are the ones who attacked me. There are some who are like, oh yeah, James, why not? I said, I'm just saying, why not throw a black man into the mix? Why not? I don't say she has to end up with him or whatever, but, or, or doesn't. It. It's like, why is that a problem? There are not a lot of young black men on soaps. Let's, 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 let me let's start counting. Let's just see who are who's the young black man on soap besides TJ. I mean, maybe what, what is there? Is there one other somewhere else? Like that young. I'm talking. I'm talking Nate and all them on why not? Like young. And so I and so I get that also. DC, what's the problem with black? Why do have to interact more with black people? I know that. I know that. I, I answered that line. She's just going. But on soap opera, we don't even have that. Really, we barely even have that. I'm just saying that. You guys are all into this, this, well, Nicholas Chavez is Latino in real life, but on the show, he plays a white boy. Um, but I was just saying the character, if you go by the character of Spencer, the way he's treated Trina up until, well, up until recently, it's been shitty. So it's like, when you, you love Trina so much, wouldn't you want her to be with a good man? So why couldn't that good man be a black man? Why, why is that a problem? You know, why, you know, Auntie and Jesse were the couple, they were the bomb. But I'm just saying, we don't have that many black couples. Abe and Lexi, we have very few black hit couples. We had Ilani on, on Days. I mean, we don't have any. Yeah, Theo was on Days. He's barely on my so I'm just saying, all I'm saying is, why can't that be also a option, an option? Because there are, there are a lot on blacks, if there are a lot of black boys on soaps, and I'll be like, okay, then you're right. Let's not worry about it. But I'm just saying, there's hardly any. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I said, it was just, it's just a suggestion. But the hint of that suggestion got the ire of a lot of black people. That's what made me laugh. I was like, oh, the black folks are attacking me. That's what shocked me. You know, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that's kind of, but see, Albert, your, your difference opinion with me was the conversation thing. 
and that's that's something like this but that's that's one thing also kind of and a lot of black folks went back and forth on that too uh there's most of white are but how many times is he, is he on the air Let's do now. Let's do an episode count. How many times is Moses on the air these days? Not that much. Um, but I feel like, but I was, I was suggesting a relationship, a black young black relationship. And I think, I think we should have everything. You know what I mean? I think there should be representation of everything: gay, lesbian, bisexual, uh, interracial, same gender, same cultured. I think it should be everything. They don't. I improve your mind. I okay. They don't. They really, they really don't. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm like, exactly, Sarah. There's a large amount of black folks who want soap opera. As I'm saying, I'm just kind of saying that there's, I don't, you know, I loved when I saw Trina and TJ in their scenes together a while back. Uh, this is the first time I've seen two young black folks talking to each other. And it had been a while. Like, seriously, I was like, I was like racking my brain going, because on days, when Theo was on, possibly, which they once in a while, there were some scenes with Chanel, but it's very rare and few and far between. Again, there's no young black folks talking to each other. I thought, I just thought, thought that was just so, I'm like, it was just so, my face was like, what's going on? That's just so interesting to me. We can't even talk about Latino or Asian, because that, that's, that's a whole other issue. But I would say we don't see any, yeah, we don't see any black romance. I don't see any young black romances on there. I just don't see any. I, and I saw, but again, it was just a suggestion of that, and I got attacked. See, totally forgot about Moses. See, I mean, he's like, it's a great actor. Yeah, Generations. Generations was ahead of his time. Generations later became Tyler Perry and Shonda Rhimes. They took care of that. Isn't that funny? DC, right? It's like, it was kind of like, oh, they got, it was kind of nice seeing them talk together. Because I mean, the adult, the, the older adults talking black are fine. But I'm like, but the younger ones? I mean, soaps are multi-generational. So it just was a trip when I, when I was like, oh, TJ and Trina are talking. Okay, I liked I mean, I liked it. It makes sense storyline wise. Again, as long as it makes sense storyline wise, I have no problem with that. Yeah, Angie and Jesse were huge. And that's my point. That's my point. And they weren't just other black people. Because remember, Tad was his best friend, or was, was their best friend. And so was, um, oh my God, who blew up in a, in a ski accident, Jenny. Jenny and Tad were on the run, remember? A black man and a white woman were on the run. They were best friends, nothing ever romantic with them. Um, so they weren't just with other black folks, they were, but Angie and Jesse were a core couple. Still thinking, I don't, I should be thinking, the show, my show will be off the air, you'll be still thinking about it. We'll be still thinking, like, hmm, no, no, they, they, they just, they just really isn't. They just, they just, they just, it just, they just isn't, it just isn't. Because on days, if they got, they have Chanel with white folks. They showed her and Theo. They, I guess they dated for a minute back somewhere, but they're but now they're kind of related on some level. So that's weird. But I said Il Ilani was the was the black couple. Exactly. Ilani, that's they were the black. They got Jada, but now I will have I will have a caveat, folks. I'll have a caveat. Okay. And he's my friend, and I just love him inside and out. Greg Vaughn. Is one of the sexiest people I have ever met in real life. He is hottie, make hot, hot stuff. Every I saw him at the Emmys, and he just looks at you and, and just gives you this soulful, he just talks to you. And I'm telling you, oh my God, he's just, he's, you're in the vortex. And so Jada liking Eric, I totally get it. I was like, I'm in. I'm all, I'm all in. Because he has, he, he just, he just, Greg Vaughn is just something else. I'm going to say about that. He is something else. And seriously, one of the nicest guys in the business. Um, but he is, he's, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just like, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. With that. Ugh, I'm not gonna say about that. Oh my God, when Jesse died, oh my God. Now we're talking Angie and Jesse. Um, but anyway, so that's the, but anyway, so that's the, I'd love to interview uh, Debbie and Darnell. Trust me, I would love to. 
Oh, I would love to. Yeah, Greg is just like Greg Vaughn is just he's just he's everything. He is everything. And yeah, Josh Swickard, he is everything too. I don't know him, but he is everything. Uh, but anyway, so that's so anyway, I just it just it's I it was a thought that I said, but going back to our original discussion, try to bring it all back. Inviting visuals, okay, I know. Um Back, bring it all back to the conversation of race. It just, I, 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 I know that not all black folks are the same. We don't all think the same. I totally, I totally understand that. I totally get that. But I was saying it was just so me suggesting that that I was just surprised that a lot of black folks gave me blowback. Not the white folks. Well, the white folks were like sure, why? they were like sure, why not? It was the black folks. And I was like, really, really, really. And the answer is really. So I just I so I, that was that was a, that was an eye opener for me. That was that was an eye opener for me. Um, and so I'm so I still I was I'm going to still say what I feel. I'm going to still post what I want to post. Um, I'm not going to stop. And I just I I just showed the other day where I said that you know, oh yeah, Queen Sugar. I know. Free Advance supports five. Um, I said this before. I'm not going to. He used to play Lucky on GH. Yes. I'm not, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue speaking my mind and saying how the fuck I feel. And folks don't like it, they don't like it. I mean, that's just life. Everybody has a right not to like what I have to say. Um, I do opinions. That's what I do. I, t- I tell opinions. Just like a lot of people do on TV. And everybody has a right to not like it or like it or think differently. I think, I think it's just, it's, you know, but see, the thing is, um, DC, I get every, everything, you're, everything you're saying. I, 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 know the, I know the arguments. I, I'm twice your age, almost three times. I know, I know all the arguments, and I still feel, I still feel like, I, I just, I, I just still feel like what I'm saying does still make sense. I think it's valid. Um, I would never, I would never want black folks to be in a, an insular story and just, you know, I got people got mad at me because I said on Y and R, why are all the black folks losing their businesses on Y and R? Everybody merging together, but it's all the black folks lost their businesses. I mean, just, that's just, I mean, it was like, oh, there you go. There you go. I, I didn't like it. I, I just, I thought it was just, that's kind of weird um, to me. Optics wise, it seemed fine, but people got people, you know. I might wake up in the morning and do you? Oh, I do all, you know, you know what I do? I do all the time. And hey, I mean, you know, I'll tell, I mean, sometimes someone hating you could be exciting in certain situations. <clears throat> I've had a few of those myself. So I have people wake up next to me and mad at me for something. And then we worked it out and made it better. So that can be fun. I was like, that's how I felt. I was like, all of a sudden, Imani and them had a, had a lawyer practice. That's gone. And so-and-so, give it to your business. That's gone. I'm sure that makes it like, all of a sudden, everybody losing their businesses. So I was like, that's, I, I don't get it. I was like, I just don't get it. So... All I'm looking for is everybody have everybody be represented on soap operas and just use the best of their abilities. That's all I want. I want people to, I want every character to have a good storyline, no matter what race they are, age they are, or sexuality. I want everybody to have a good storyline. Everybody to be represented. That's all. Exactly, Samuel, LaVon. I agree with you completely. I want you to think of a black villain on daytime. Uh, I'll wait. That's on daytime now. Not anything in the past, but like now. Is there a black villain on daytime? Is there a black bitch on daytime? Uh, I'll keep waiting. There's none. We're not allowed to be, it seems like. Well, Hamilton Winters is gone now. Hamilton Winters is part of fucking um, Chancellor. That's what I'm saying. They all just like this, all of a sudden they're gone. Neil would have wanted. Neil would not want that shit. No, he would not want that. I think that's the biggest crock of bull duty I've heard in a long time. Hi, Ghostface. You're you're right, Ghostface. Um, God, he's saying your name, Ghostface, if you laugh. Um, but you're right. Now all the hot guys are naked. That's right, girl. That's it. That's exactly it. 
Right. TR was a black villain, but then he came off. The magical Negro. I say, oh my God, Sam, I talk about that all the time. I talk about it all the time. Because you know, you know who was a magical Negro? He was. Until he slapped the shit out of Chris Rock, then he was the angry Negro. But he, he was the magical Negro for a long time. I've been the magical Negro in many situations. Trust me. It made the jobs that I've gotten, the things I've gotten. I was the magical Negro. As I've gotten older, I've spoken out more. So now I'm a, now I'm not magical anymore. Now I'm just a Negro. Yeah, great. Back to Greg Vaughn. He is hot. He is hot. Um, yes. Josh is hot. Yes, we, we love him. Bull Diddy. I heard Bull Diddy before. That's my, one of my sayings. I try to cuss as much as I. But, but Stephen, that's the point. He slapped another black man, and you know what they said online? You know what they see? You know, they, 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 you know, you know, they, you know, you know what they say online? See, black folks, black on black crime. They go right there. See, black folks know how to act in public. I saw all the comments right afterwards. Oh, they loved it. They loved that it was another black man they slapped. Oh, they loved it. Oh, the media loved it. The media loved They loved it. They ate it with a spoon. That, that, and that was almost, it was almost, it's almost worse. And if you're black, you know what I'm talking about. It almost feel like it's worse. It's like, can you take that in the back somewhere in the corner and talk about it? Bye, Kirsten. Have a good day. You love being mad at. I, I don't love being mad at, but I just embrace it because that's just, that's just how it is. Because if I'm going to, if you're going to speak out, you can't whine if people are mad at you, right? You can't go, man, well, everybody's mad at me. They're all yelling at me. Oh my God. I can't, I can't whine and bitch about it. If I'm going to talk and stand by my words, I got, I got, I got, so I'm, I'm just not being whippy about it. I'm just, I'm just like, I make jokes about it. I laugh because I have to, because some of the stuff people say to me, is really actually really mean and, and really, and really evil to me. You guys don't see everything. You see some stuff, but there's some stuff you don't see that are, and like I said, back in the day, I've gotten death threats and things. There was some really horrible stuff just from my opinion on the storyline. So I just, I kind of, I had a stalker one time, I had a whole thing. So I'm like, I just now kind of make jokes about it. I, I bring it up because I kind of have to, just to kind of diffuse it a little bit. You know, I, you know what I mean? Like you have to kind of go, okay, you're mad at me again. Okay, great. But I'll never whine about it because that's the only worse than a whiner about it. It's like, well, then James, shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing. You want to buy talking about you, then don't, don't, don't comment on nothing. So I can't complain about it. I just kind of make jokes about it and stuff all the time. They, they tell the truth. I, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like I am telling the truth, shame the devil. I, I just feel like, and, and yeah, everybody's not going to like it. That's true. Everybody just wants to smoke today. Just say that they, uh, Albert's being funny. He's trying to be funny. I know he's trying to be funny. So now, get, now I'm getting to know Albert, so I'm seeing that he's trying to, he's trying to be funny. I, I totally get it. Because, you know, the last couple of days, no smoke my direction. It's everybody else. All my friends are getting attacked online. Even Tony Moore, they all got attacked. I was like, not me. I was quiet the last couple of days. I watched so Twitter and Facebook just go crazy, and it wasn't me. I didn't. I didn't do nothing. I just had. I just had my. I had my death threats. No death threats aren't cool, actually. I'm not going to to Clexicon, but um, I saw they're both together, so that's good. So that was. I saw Cameron post that. Um. Yes. Well, see, you would think, DC and Samuel, you would think, get a room, you would think, I, I wish with Greg Vaughn, sure, I'll get a room. I wish that, remember, the late Diane Carroll, she was like, I will be the first black bitch on television, and she was. And she told the writers, don't write for me like a black woman, write for me like a man. I'll turn the words into something that will filter out like a black woman. And that was, and that was genius. And she was the bomb. You can go online and see these clips of her on Dynasty, the bomb. But that didn't happen. After that, they didn't happen. I was kind of hoping Paulina would be a black bitch on daytime. Because at first, remember at first on days, they were kind of getting there. It's like they were kind of they had her almost like a villainous she was gonna buy up the town square. But now she's not that. And I, I almost wish why I didn't make her just a black bitch in the show? Dominique was the bomb. She was the bomb. Oh, we were called ass kisses after Buzz. 
They call it all of us hosts ask ask kissers. They're at they're the other the other um, shows say they're ask kissers, and we had because we see we got guests on our show, our shows. Others didn't. We we worked the networks, but no, we were never ask kissers. We just we told how we felt. If we didn't like a show, we liked the show, we liked it. And I always feel like that's the thing. Why can't we like a show? <laughs> like, 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 why can't we like a show? Why? Why not? There are sometimes I like. I wrote one day. I really enjoyed this episode. I think it was of Days or one of those. And people got mad at me. You enjoyed the episode. What are you talking about? This day, I'm like, oh my god. I just, I, I did. I enjoyed the episode. I don't always put out negative stuff. I put out positive stuff. I, go, I, I really enjoyed it. And I named the things I enjoyed, and each person just like dissected it. So I'm like, oh well, I still enjoyed the episode, but I, I, I came, I came and say that. You were just like, you enjoyed the episode. What's wrong? What, what show did you watch? Of all days of our lives, that's what I watched. Um, you know, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's just kind of like that's, you know, that's the thing. So yeah, no, there, there are some crazy. Like I said, Krista Allen's feeling it right now. Diamond White's feeling right now. People, people are crazy. There's some fanatics out there who really, oh, I had one guy call me 60, found my number and called me 60 times in a row in, in like one hour. He wouldn't stop calling me. Wouldn't stop, I couldn't block his number for some reason. It wouldn't let me block it. Um, and then I did the stupid thing after I think time 59, I got on phone and said, stop calling me, leave me alone. I held the phone. Then he called, he stopped. He called one more time, stopped. And then later at night, started calling me over and over again. You should be jealous, Tony. That's my man, Flobo. Um, that everybody wants to be back on that. Everybody wants to be back on that show. Uh, it's kind of funny. I know Flobo and I, we have great, we have a great chemistry, we have a great time together. We always have a good time. Um, and so a show might be coming soon with the two of us. We might, there might be one coming. So keep that in, keep that in mind. Yes, Trina should be a heroine, not take as we stuff, and Trina and not be saved by Jocelyn. I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you, CG. I agree with you also. DC, you said something earlier I agree with also. Um, a lot of you guys actually agree with you also. You say, I'm like, I'm just, I, you know, we all watch soaps. You know what's going on. You know what's going on just as well as I know what's going on out there. And there are a lot of behind the scenes stuff happening that's just, yeah, that's true too. Ooh, Ezra Miller, he's a he's a mess. Woo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like Trina and Josh as friends. I do like that. I go there so it's me and Brock TV. So I'm doing what I do at the same time. Oh yeah, Brock TV. Okay, yeah, yeah. We don't we don't know each other, but I know of him. I don't think I don't even, I don't even know if he knows of me at all. Um, but my thing is, but that's the whole thing. It's like we all have different opinions about something. That's great. So you tell you tell your audience your opinion. I tell my audience my opinion, and and, then, and you may find audiences that agree with you. And so you speak to your audience. Uh, they, but for me, I will always say positive and negative. I always do both. Um, not just negative, negative, negative. Not just positive, positive, positive. I will always. And there's some shows they only do positive. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing right. I I I'm like that's what you do. Oh, I know. Albert, I was like, I need somebody to hold me. Because I'm like, if that if that chick went to jail, was found guilty, I would have hit under my covers. Uh, you know, I would have said, no, I would, I would hit under my covers and look at Twitter. Woo! They would have lost their shit. Lala, you are cre correct. Then I look at it from a business perspective. Because they're just fans. They don't understand that this is all a business, folks. Every TV show you have on the air is a business. Every single TV show, every single one. The networks are a business. Um, Days of Our Lives is not bringing in the sponsors and ads they want it. The audience is not there. There's a small audience. That's it. There's, I mean, there's, I mean, whose fault? It's not Days of Our Lives' fault. But it, well, people say it's Days of Our Lives' fault. They'll say it's them. But a lot of folks stop watching soap operas in general. They just stopped. Now, it's not just Days of Our Lives. The soap, the soap. Viewing audience is way down than it used to be. That's just a fact. Oh yes, my Eric Brain interview will be coming together. Um, I I have so much to do right now. I'm trying to edit it down. Um, and Eric dropped some nuggets. He dropped some nuggets. 
Um, but I have to tell you, you guys who didn't hear, we came on late. This weekend, so tomorrow I'm going to an all-day freestyle 80s concert. <laughs> it starts in the morning, goes to the Queen Mary. Uh, I'm going with all my brothers and sisters, and we're all going. Um, everybody from Expose to Lisa Lisa, Debbie Gibson, Tiffany. It's this huge concert, SOS band. It's this huge concert. So I'm doing that all day long. Well, I, we bought these tickets like three months ago. So I found out yesterday that on Sunday, they're turning off my electricity from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. That's the whole day. So I can't do a show. I can't do any shows. I'll, know, I'll have no Wi-Fi. Um, and so I was like, go to a hotel. I'm like, hotels are expensive. Plus, I'm going out of town Labor Day weekend. I've saved my money for that. So no show, folks, sorry. So no shows for that day. And then Monday, they're turning off my water from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I have no water. It's just a weird thing. So there are no shows this weekend. We'll be back the following weekend. We'll be back the following weekend. We'll work it out. But I had to tell people, I was like, sorry, no show block. I'm just, I'm just, I, it's just, that, I, I know that long. So we're like, we can't go in our refrigerator. We can't go in our freezer. They say keep it closed all day. Um, I'm like, as hot as fucking Los Angeles right now. So I'm going somewhere where, where I'm going to my mom's house where there's like air conditioning or whatever. Um, so I'm like, and that's it. And that's, yeah, I, what's funny is the Wi Fi. Well, here's, here's the thing I can't do a show. I'm still going to do a show at Starbucks a li- or, or a library because there's, there's quiet. Libraries actually, um, I've used library rooms for, um, uh, meeting space a couple times, and uh, the pro- the problem is um, so yeah, the the rooms aren't soundproof. So I say, you know, you know, you folks, you know, I talk. My voice carries. You guys know that my voice carries. So a lot of times I can't do it. And even with Starbucks, sometimes the Wi Fi can be wonky. I my shows have. I mean, I can't. I don't want to be on TV and my show go out. I, that's just that's just the worst thing. So I just I, so I just said we just want to do a show. Life off to go on. We'll get back to we'll get back to you. Um but I can't sit in my house either. It's like, ugh. Um, do I have a hot spot? Uh it costs money, folks. Uh my 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 wireless plan is high enough already. If I use a wall spot for three shows for four or five hours, bring it up. DG wins the best comment. Bring it, I know where after bus TV is. It's all gutted. I bring it to after bus TV studios. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm like, hi, let me come, let me use Atmos TV. Everything's been taken down already. The outside is still there. I think the inside's just a shell. I don't think it's anything thinking. I don't think it's anything. I don't think it's, I mean, probably the rooms are probably still there, but isn't that hilarious? Yeah, and watching using public Wi Fi. Ooh, it's like, it's not, it's not, it's not safe. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on. I just, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. It's like, sorry, you guys, I'm getting, I'm getting a weekend off, I guess. And that's so funny. That's West TV. That is hilarious. Um, but no, I, I I was going to my sister's house, but they have kids. I mean, it's, it's just it's just not the same. I do hours. I do like I do like four hours of television. That's not just one hour. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to just everybody. We have to just, unfortunately it's not no show. Um, but we will be here the following weekend, and then Labor Day weekend no show because I'm going to be spending time with my family. I've not seen them in a year, and we're going through some stuff right now. So I will be in Sacramento for that weekend. I agree, Kate Lawler. I totally agree with that. He's trying. He's trying to save the show. So I I give him points for that. He's trying to save the show. He's trying to uh, do that. So I will give him his points and his props for that. Uh, very much, kids. I gotta go. I've been on for an hour and a half. I've been on. I've been on cheese and crackers. I've been on for almost two hours, you guys. Two hours. I love talking. This has been a very interesting conversation. It went very well. I want to thank Stephen M for his five dollar um, donation super chat. Thank you very much. That will go to the big pot. I'm gonna keep running. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to run this channel as I can. I don't want to quit this channel. I don't want to stop doing this. That's why I always. That's why I always ask for super chats or buy me a coffees or patreons. All that stuff comes into my business and helps me continue doing this because uh, I don't want to stop doing this, you guys. I want to keep going. I want to keep talking about soaps to you guys and other stuff. 
this is uh, these these conversations are always so enlightening and fun and 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 none of us got into a fight. We all said we had to say it. We're all good. We're, everybody, everybody's good, right? Everybody's really good. So yeah, I guess yeah, I, I guess I won't be on until Monday. Um, yeah, um, you guys have a good day. You guys, all thirty of you who are watching, uh, stay hydrated if you're in heat. Stay safe if you're in rain. Um, I wish everybody safe safe pastures and travels and whatever they're doing this weekend. Uh, and um, tonight I'm doing the She Hulk after show. 8 p.m. tonight, so you're I'm here on YouTube, live, me, Frank Moran, if you like Frank, um, uh, John Dunphy and Anthony Chupazzi, we're doing the She-Hulk after show. It's not 8 p.m. That's my last show for the weekend, and I'll be back on Monday. Oh, Shelly, I didn't see you, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Um, but you guys, thank you, everybody. It's good seeing some folks I haven't seen in a while. I will see you next time. If I can turn this thing off. Oh, yeah, my Spice Girl shirt, I know. It's Spice Girl.